we're diving into an important visit by the Sri Lankan air chief to Pakistan. This visit isn't just a courtesy call. He's here to observe the Indus Shield 2024 exercises and has had key meetings with Pakistan's chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Air Chief. Cut to images of the Air Chief's meetings and the Indus Shield exercises. The Sri Lankan Air Chief, Air Marshal Sudarshana Patharana, has been meeting with top military officials in Rawalpindi, and it's clear that there's a lot of collaboration happening. Not only has he observed the exercises, but he's also inspected the JF-17 Thunderblock III aircraft, which you can see in these photos. Show images of the JF-17 Thunderblock III aircraft. Now you might be wondering, why is this visit significant? Well, the backdrop is crucial. Nine years ago, during a visit by former Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, Pakistan offered the JF-17 Block I to Sri Lanka. Back then, Sri Lanka opted out, largely due to Indian influence. Cut to a graphic showing the timeline of events. Fast forward to today, and we see a shift. Sri Lanka's political landscape is changing with the recent election of President Anura Kumara Disanayake, a pro-Marxist politician known for his ties to China. This change could signal a warming relationship with Pakistan. Show a clip of Anura Kumara Disanayake speaking at an event. During his visit, the Sri Lankan Air Chief's inspection of the JF-17 is noteworthy, especially considering that Sri Lanka is now showing interest in modern military capabilities. Countries like Azerbaijan are already committing to the JF-17, indicating a growing export potential for this aircraft. Cut to a chart of countries interested in the JF-17. Although no formal agreements have been signed yet, Sri Lanka's interest is becoming more evident. This development might be part of a larger strategy to strengthen military ties with Pakistan and China. Transition to discussing regional implications. Now, why does this matter for the region? Sri Lanka's strategic location makes it vital for both Pakistan and China, especially in the context of naval operations. If Sri Lanka aligns more closely with these two countries, it could pose challenges for India. Show a map highlighting strategic locations. In conclusion, while we wait to see how this situation unfolds, it's clear that Pakistan might be on the verge of achieving what it couldn't back in 2015. Stay tuned as we keep an eye on these developments. The host smiles warmly at the camera. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for updates. See you in the next video. Until then, take care.